okay uh, so let's start with you know the basic to advanced level uft1 and it's a 15.x version so we might have you know the 15.0.0 or 0.1 or 0.2 so we are going to check which one is the latest one okay so uh, before going to start with this session we have to discuss what are the points that we are going to you know the take care of you know the, the entire syllabus for this session so yes uh, again see now we are going to start with the scratch okay basic level to advanced level right the title is basic to advanced level now what are the contains are there so if you check it out this is a day wise content means eight hours we have to spend for you know the entire day and it was a hands on lab session so i did for the corporates so this was the plan basically designed for the corporate levels okay now let's start what is you know the automation and why automation is required this is the main point then we are going to understand what exactly the qtp or the uft is and we will discuss about the uft interface after this you know the uft interface we are trying to understand what exactly the record and playback so basically if you heard about the selenium ide okay so we can record the script and we can play back the script right so this tool this uft tool has you know the record and playback functionalities okay that is the one thing then the next is you know the recording modes okay the recording modes what are the different types of the recording modes are there right say for example there is an object or the web element okay and i want to capture that image or something like that and it is not recognizing that object so which type of the recording will suit it for that particular object okay so this kind of you know we have a different types of the recording modes so we will discuss that later on now how to debug it so if i want to run that particular script in the debug mode and i want to find out where that the error occurs okay and the step by step execution will get it done through the debug process then virtual object wizard so what exactly the virtual object wizard is so see for example now the object is not recognized say for example calculator we can take an example of a calculator right and if we try to recognize that in the calculator or the button it's not getting recognized okay so we have to give a temporary name to that object i repeat okay we have to give the temporary name to that object which is called as a virtual object you know the wizard right then the object spy so what is an object spy generally in selenium we call this as a you know the web element and in qtp we call this as an objects so everything is an objects right when you open a web page right you can find the button drop down you know the labels etc images everything is an object so we have to find out this objects so how to find out this object using the object spy and we will get it the properties okay so once you select that particular object you will get it you know the properties so we have to find out which property is unique one right then the synchronization what is mean by the synchronization do you know what is mean by the synchronization yes a synchronization is like uh adding everything together or mixing up okay or connecting yeah. right see synchronization is nothing but the matching mm -hmm. okay synchronization is nothing but the matching now what is matching over here there are two things one is your script okay whatever you are going to write it down and the another one is aut application under test or system under test so sometimes it might happen that your script goes very fast and your application goes very slow or vice versa and sometimes it will get mismatch and it will throw an error so we have to go with the synchronization okay and there are different types of the synchronizations are there that we will discuss then we will discuss the object repository management basically so what is object repository we will discuss in detail later on then what are the different types of the object repositories local and the shared object repository what is a checkpoint checkpoint is nothing but the validation point we can verify the expected and actual result using the different types of the checkpoints okay that we will cover in the checkpoints then the data driven test data driven test using an external sheet or the data table so there is a waiting you know the table in uft so that is called as a data table so how to pull the data from the data table that is called as a data driven test 
then the output values so when you give some value and you want to capture you know or the retrieve some value that is called as an output value okay say for example if i enter um, you know credentials like nilesh and some password and it is saying that welcome nilesh and i want to capture that welcome nilesh so that is what it is called as an output value then the recovery scenario manager so is nothing but exception handling how to handle this in the recovery so that we will see later on in detail again the batch file say for example i have number of the scripts and i want to run it into the in the one go and that is what it is called as a batch file okay that also we will see then the next is action what is mean by the action the entire script is divided into the module kind of a thing and that is what it is called as an actions okay right so that is action is getting say for example there is a scenario like i want to log in i want to add some items into the cart and log out this is what the scenario is then yes so the login is a one action add to cart is another action and the log out is another action so that is what the action is all about then the business business logic is nothing but we are going to enhance our script okay then there is a something called as a gate runtime object property and gate test object properties that we will see what exactly this later on then we will start with the web scripting so we are going to take you know the introduction to the web scripting pre functions then we will cover the advanced web scripting okay automation object model okay then working with the expert view expert view is nothing but we can enhance the script we can write it down the conditions over there okay we can write it down our own script own functions everything that we can write it out in an expert view then fso stands for file system object okay so these are the object models are there so this is what fso is a file system object so we can in the how to write it down the file how to get to retrieve the values from the file etc that we can get it done through this fso then the descriptive programming very very important topic so the descriptive programming is nothing but without record and playback is called as a descriptive programming we are not going to record anything at all so in industry we don't use a record and playback activity we start with the scripting part and this part is very very important that is a descriptive programming now the test scenarios okay we are going to take a real time example specifically okay that is called as a test scenarios and then we will start with the what is a framework is about what are the different types of the frameworks are there and the implementation of the framework so this is what all about you know your curriculum and we are going to start with the very basic level now the next level that is what we are trying to understand how to install or download this uft and install this uft okay so that is what we are going to understand okay thank you and happy learning